Hey. All right, y'all. I'm waiting for my guest tonight to hop on and she is not here yet. So somebody keep it. <laughs> my liquor cabinet is empty. Okay. It, it's a wrap. Y'all listen. I was tempted to go out today and go and get me one of them um, slushies and it, it didn't happen. Now I haven't gained any weight. Um, I've been working out. I've been doing pretty good. I, I'm hanging in there. I'm counting carbs and calories and all the other foolishness. It's all good though. All right. So let me see. I'm for real. I'm just keeping it gangster with y'all. It's a mess out here in these streets. Okay. <sighs> I don't get nervous often. I really don't. I've been um, doing this blog for, I guess it's been five years now, since 2015. Yeah, since 2015. I've been doing this for a minute now. I've interviewed all kinds of people. I, I thoroughly enjoy um, having a platform where entrepreneurs can come and talk about their brands, talk about their businesses. I, I love doing what I do. I love writing blog posts. Um, I love reviewing products. Uh, I, I love creating every year the ultimate black love gift guide, black owned business coupon book. Like that's just my jam. That's just my thing. So I love doing it. Yes, honey. Check out my earrings. Okay. I'm glad somebody enjoys my interviews. I put a lot of work um, into vetting businesses, um, making sure that they are, you know, legit businesses and they offer good quality products and customer service. Uh, I, I take a, a lot of pride in, in what it is that I do and I try to present um, those businesses in the best light possible and I enjoy working with them. I enjoy partnering with them. I enjoy, you know, establishing that trust and my guest has arrived. Oh my God. Let me see. Here she is. Got it. Hey, my special guest tonight is here. Hey, I can't, I'm so happy. Let me try to get, hey. my, let me try to get my, get my shit together here. Get it, get it together. Get it together, Auntie. Can I call you Auntie? Sure. Yay! Okay, I'm happy. Now I'm happy. I'm so glad that you are here. Let me know when you're ready, because I want to. I want to introduce you. I know people know who you are, but I want to give you a, a, the grand introduction. Everybody don't know who I am. Uh, we gonna make sure they know who you are by now. <laughs> okay. Just okay, one more. moment, please. One more. Okay. Get it, get it together. Do what you got to do. Okay. We ain't going nowhere. We all waiting on you, sis. Okay. She's there. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. So welcome to Minority Report, and I'm your host, Lachelle Smith. And tonight I have with me one of the top 25 funniest people in L.A., where she was recently honored with other comedic geniuses. She was honored with Eddie Griffin. She was honored with uh, Miss Laura Hayes, with uh, Marsha Warfield. She starred in Dolomite Is My Name with Eddie Murphy. Uh, she's been on tour with Cat Williams. I don't know what else she didn't do or what, she, what else she has done, but she's the bad girl of comedy. Welcome, everybody. I mean, I want stars. I want hearts. I want love. I want everything. Y'all welcome, Miss Lunell. Yes! Well, very nice to be here. Thank you, Minority Report, girl. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I appreciate it. How's life treating you? Um, Inside the house? Yeah, Life is treating me well. Uh, That's what's having, up. I was just getting ready to drop some catfish and some fillet of sole in the deep fryer. Okay, made, now made some rice aroni and some broccoli, and um, I, okay. I must say, you know, I haven't had this much rest uh, in in thirty years. You know, in in thirty I, years I, of my career, I, I believe you. I had this much time off with my husband in this long because you mm -hmm. know I've been on the road for. So, right. um, but, um, of course, you know, that's where it ends. You know, you step out the door and it's, uh, it's a travesty. It's the, yeah, right. Now, I shared a picture of you and uh, Shaka Khan. The picture, I mean, the, that picture, yes, 
Y'all killed it. Now, this was for a photo shoot um, for not Mother's a Day. Shoot. Not it a wasn't a photo shoot? shoot. It wasn't no, a photo we shoot? We got together for a photo shoot. We got together for a Mother's Day sort of rally. Like a rally. Yes. And there were photos taken. And there so were we photos not, taken. We would not take we would not take something so serious and just do a photo. And turn it. Yeah. Right. So um, that was on Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And um, the way that came together, because um, after Ahmad's murder, mm -hmm. among the thousands of others, right. I just had hit the wall and I was on my um, Instagram and I just had I just had like a breakdown, and I, I I was sick of the I hit the wall. I said I'm sick of the praying hand emojis and no action. Right. I'm sick of holding hands and singing kumbaya. I'm sick sick of you know we gonna pray that this gets better. Prayer always helps, but prayer without action mm -mm, is nothing. And I was just like you know I I I was born in Arkansas, I was raised in Oakland, California. I was raised around the Black Panthers. I never knew I had such a revolutionary spirit, but mm -hmm. I do, and it has come out. And I just felt like this mouth and this platform and this gift that I have cannot just be used to only talk about big pussy food, da 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 da. Mm -hmm. To, you know, express how I feel. And then when I did that. And the only reason that it cut off when it did is because the phone rang. Uh, people reached out to me, you know, some celebrities and regular friends. My right, who were just as frustrated as you. Yes, because I've been dealing with this for a long time. My father was murdered. My sister was murdered. I lived two blocks away from the Marathon shop where Nipsey was murdered. And mm -hmm. it's just been a theme through my damn life. And... Um, uh, you know, black on black crime, that's a whole nother subject. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking that's right. about the racist overtones of this country that we live in that have never properly been addressed, definitely not by white people. So I mm -hmm. hit the wall and uh, people reached out to me. One of the people who reached out to me was Chaka Khan. And, you know, I knew Chaka. We'd taken pictures together before we have mutual friends. We knew each other, but you know, she never hit me up like that. And so okay. she hit me in my DM. She sent me a phone number. I talked to her. And she felt the same way that I did. She's a mother. I'm a mother. Mm -hmm. And she said, why don't we get together? Why don't we wear military or camouflage uh, attire uh, so that we're not, you know, they don't think we're out here glamming up and, and, and playing around. And right. It's, just it's not a game. Where, right. It's not mm -hmm. a game. And she said, why don't we just meet somewhere and, you know, tell any mothers that have had kids that have been murdered by racists, whether it's the police or the neighbor or a lady in the park with her dog, right? Um, you know, to come and meet us at a, at, a, at a place. And we pulled it together in like three days. She made a, uh, no, it's not the same, Shelly. It's not the same. Not tell her because I, I was going to check her but i figure yeah. i would just go ahead and let you tell, continue tell first to get blocked by me and i can't even block her on your page but, um, <laughs> that's i'll block her don't worry about it i got it because we wouldn't even have black um black crime if we had systematically not been designed to hate each other by the white man who is the right enemy. of course right. we always have white people that are allies and that are friends of ours but the, the people that are our allies they know who they are Everybody else is an enemy, and you better wake up and believe that, Shelly. So anyway, Word. The, the mothers came out, and other people came out, and we were in the park, and we didn't do, we didn't plan it to be a rally. We just planned it to be a gathering, mm -hmm. and it turned into a rally because people brought signs, and people brought signs, down. okay. We, we, we social distanced, except for that picture. We had our masks on and everything like that. And um, so ever since then, I've been on like a like a bandwagon because I'm just done. Like, Shut I up. have to stay in the house. I just posted on my Instagram today, um, at Lunell, L-U-E-N-E-L-L. -L. I just posted a picture of a white boy who had been hiding in the woods who killed mm -hmm. two people, and they're giving him a nice, Give water. cold, cold water. of water. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that too. And, and this is two days after we see a white man who's been pictured with Donald Trump and with hats on that say 
make, you know, make whites great again. Mm -hmm. But they've never been fucking great. Everything they ever got, they stole from you, me, the, the Mexicans, the Indians. Let them know. And so um, uh, we know where his head is at. And the, the thing that, that kills me, the thing that kills me is there's such a lack of compassion. We mm -hmm. have so desynthesized that if there was a dead body laying in front of the fucking grocery store, we had to go in the grocery store, we would step over the dead step body over it. and go on in the grocery store. Yeah. That, that fucking Asian motherfucker that was standing there who wouldn't even turn around and look and see what his homeboy look was see what's going on. It just, it just, it's, uh, I, uh, I just, I've just lost my, you know, I haven't lost my humor, and I don't want to do that. And I know don't. people don't want to hear me preaching all the fucking time. They look to me maybe for um, solace and for humor mm -hmm. and for, um, you know, uh, relief. But guess relief. what? Before I was a comedian, I was a human being. And as a human being, I have compassion. We are compassionate people. The murders that yes. we do, I can't explain them. But I know mm -hmm. that that's not our character. We are mm -hmm. a compassionate people. You know? yeah, we are compassionate people. Yeah, that's why we, we always forgive murder, when they when they shoot, shoot our people. <laughs> we don't mass murder. We don't shoot up the school. We don't shoot up right. the mall and shit like that. You know. But uh, anyway, I didn't want to get off on a tangent. But you brought no. That's what you you allow to on my platform. You need to you need to you know let people know exactly how you feel and what the rally was all about. Um, and how they can replicate what you're doing and, you know, and dealing with their frustration because we are becoming desensitized. Like you said, if we saw a dead body in the street, like we would probably just step over it because we're just so used to seeing this. It is becoming normal and it shouldn't. So, and yeah, go and off. And Instagram and, and the news, which, you know, we don't have the good old black news like we used to when Tavis Smiley was on, when Roland Martin was on. It took all that off. Um, the you know the news and Instagram has become like a bad black murder TV show. You can right. wake up in the morning, so what niggas did they kill today? And it's right. just like it's just um, you know, it's just I don't know. It's it's a lot, and and I thank you for you know I mean just expressing yourself and being honest and being real about how you feel, where you stand, what your position is. Anybody else who was seeing this, they now know this is how Lunell feels. Get with it or move on. That's and okay. I like your earrings, by the way. Hey, Shelly, that's not Florida. Okay. It isn't Florida. You're absolutely right. Now, I do want to talk about um, you. I mean, you've been in the entertainment industry for so long. And I know because of the coronavirus, there are a lot of other um, entertainers and entrepreneurs who now have to, like, pivot their business. You've now started a YouTube channel and you have a live CD. Can you talk to us about those projects? <laughs> okay. Um, my CD is called mm -hmm. I Only Drink at Work. Okay. <laughs> And I do, like, I've been here for probably a little, almost coming, almost three months. Mm -hmm. And I probably haven't, I probably haven't drank four bottles of, maybe about four bottles of really? wine. Really? Really? Four bottles of wine and you know, a couple <laughs> shots. I always have a little quarantini on my okay. show. Um, but on, on, on this particular Wednesday, I did not. My show is, uh, oh, and the CD, uh, you can download on, uh, iTunes or Spotify or anything mm -hmm. like that. And trust me, it's fucking hilarious. It's called Lunel Live. I only drink at work. And so you can <laughs> oh, download that work. or whatever like that. And, but how um, often are you, do, are you on YouTube? Uh, my YouTube show, uh, is called Hey Lunel. Right. And, um, now you got to reframe yourself, sis. What are you doing? I did because my battery started to die. But oh. I'm here now. Oh, I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I'm back. <laughs> I said, she got a dog? She got a baby? What's going on? No, it's all right. I was drinking on my job. That's what happened. <laughs> well, I only drink at work. Like I said, I only drink at work. can be downloaded on Spotify. can be downloaded mm -hmm. on iTunes. And if you're the type of person who likes the CD, I wish I had mm -hmm. one in there. I'm going to have to keep one handy. If you're the type of person who likes to hold it, then you can order it on heyludell.com. That's my website. H-E-Y-L-U-E-N-E-L-L.com. We'll ship it right to your house. My YouTube show is called uh -huh. Hey Lunell. And I hey come Lunell. every Wednesday from 3 to 4 p.m. here in California. 
and mm -hmm. live and they uh, we do archive the show so if you miss it live you can we we upload you it always watch it again go back and see and we covered all this on um on wednesday and like i said i usually have a quarantine a quarantini quarantini and, and an edible during my <laughs> show however and an edible. this wednesday i had none of that i had a bottle of water so that nobody could say oh she high Oh, she's drunk. She hired, she drunk all the time. Very, very fucking clear. Very clear. Thank you. And I know, I've seen the episode where you cut your nails off. Like, my heart was breaking. I was like, no! But, well, okay. You know, I see okay. you. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I have the baddest nail tech in the world, and my shit, I had... Let them know. It wasn't that they was coming off. I actually mm -hmm. cut them off. I cut right. them off to be in solidarity with my sisters whose shit was popping off all over the place. Where right. I, I, and she comes to my house and she's black, okay? But I there you go. Not, I do not need to have these nails on running around the house. You know, I'm doing housework. Like I said, I'm dropping fish. I'm steaming broccoli. I'm doing all that shit. <laughs> right. And I did that with my nails before, but mm -hmm. I don't need to do it now. When the time comes where I'm able uh -huh. to get back in front of everybody, uh, mm -hmm. Believe me, uh, the lashes will be back. The nails, will be everything's back, coming the, back. The bra will be on. Girl, I ain't had on the bra for over two hours since. My <laughs> ain't no, ain't no. I put a bra on for you today. I don't know why. I should. I, if I had, I don't have one on, but this dress holds them up pretty good. Thought I would do something nice, but um, mm -mm. Please, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. I did put a little, little. Little cream in my hair, though. Little cream, okay. I'm Becky with the good hair now. Usually my shit is short, 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 but short, short, short. I'm letting it grow out for now. Well, we love it. We absolutely love it. Now tell me, have you seen Bruno Mars since y'all was in that elevator? Girl, <laughs> I need to know, sis. What happened? What did he uh, call you? Yes. Was it I just a one night stand? Yes, I have seen him. We we we. <laughs> I, I would, <laughs> I, I, um, I get, got to, you I, get to go, I get to go to the concerts, okay? I get to go okay. to the concerts. And so I've been to a couple concerts since then. Mm -hmm. and, since then. And, um, I, I, you know, he sends, he's, they've sent me a couple of presents and stuff like that. Aww. And, and, um, I gotta tell you, if you've never seen Bruno Mars, if you want to be pulled out of this dark hole that we're in, Besides mm. coming out to see me, if you right. get a chance to see him, you will write me and you will thank me because shout out, I love him so much because it just takes you out of your body into a happy mm -hmm. place. He gives you that shit like you get when you go see Frankie Beverly and Maze, right? Or Earth, Wind, and Fire. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's 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 that type of experience. Is that kind of energy? Yeah, very high energy, very high energy show, and his, his musicians oh. are, are sick. Yeah, I mean, I've seen the videos on YouTube. I have not had the opportunity to see him live, but I'm going to take your word for it, and that's exactly what I am going to do. See, I'm going to check him out live. We were, we were all supposed to be at Essence together this year. Right. I was going to headline the female comedy show. Bruno, oh. Janet, we were all going to be there. Mm -hmm. but maybe next year. It's okay. It's we gonna do something virtual. I'm sure the people over at Essence are trying to find, you know, some kind of alternative because they don't do. Um, they ain't, ain't missing a year. Same, it's not gonna be the same. same. That's why I won't do any stand up online because mm -hmm. I give of myself so much during this quarantine. You get to right. see me in my pajamas. You get to right. see me with my glasses. You get to see me cooking breakfast. You get to see me in the bathtub. You get mm -hmm. to see a little bit of what my house looks like. But what you're not going to see is me. What's up, Oakland? What you're not going to see is me doing stand-up because mm -hmm. I feel like the people who truly support me or any of mm -hmm. us artists that are glad to get out the house and mm -hmm. to get dressed up and smell good again. You know, we haven't even had on no perfume. Right. And, and they want to drive and buy a ticket and come out to see me. You deserve to see some shit that everybody didn't see for free. So I will not be participating in any comedy, nothing. You're going to get okay. Lunel, Ron Uncut, and then when you go okay. to the show, you're going to get some shit that these other motherfuckers didn't get to see. 
There you go. Oh, like I said, if they didn't know before, now they know. You're not, you're not entertaining no verses. You're not, we're, we're not doing any of that. No online comedy shows, nothing. Because you want to give them the real, authentic, blue well, nail experience. I think that's hacky anyway. Look at all the shows that are trash <laughs> that now without the audience. The audience right. is who makes our shit. The feedback. The People feedback. Laughing, spitting out a drink, clapping on the table. That's what makes it. Look at poor Wendy's show was garbage right. without the audience. Look at she, she had to take a little breaky, breaky, breaky. And that's my girl, but let's keep it 100. Look at right. Ellen's show. Ellen's supposed to be this great gal. Her show, trash without the audience. The audience is what makes everything. I don't give a fuck. I'm not doing nothing like that until you can see me with a microphone right. and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a Lysol wipe in my hand. Right. Okay. Listen, this is probably the, one of the best interviews I've ever, ever had. You know, I don't, I don't want to keep you all night. I want you to get back to your broccoli and your, and your catfish and your husband. I don't, I don't want to keep you all night. But I want to know, when the theaters open back up, what movies are we going to see you in? Ooh. Well, let, Ooh. Me tell you, let me tell you what has dropped. <laughs> let me tell you what has dropped on TV already. Mm -hmm. I might okay. compliment you on your chocolate Hershey brown skin. Want to lick Thank your you. Teeth? I know your milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, girl. I taste like chocolate. Yeah, they... I know you do, girl. I got a couple people that'll tell you. And my sisters, <laughs> I would encourage you to when you see another sister, give a sister a compliment. Stop this hating ass bullshit. This isn't Real Housewives of Atlanta. Stop picking Come on. fights and trying to throw drinks in bitches' faces. Because the bitch you have Preach. today might be the bitch to hire you tomorrow. Okay. Moving on. Okay. So, um, uh, two weeks ago, I was on an episode of um, The Last OG, Tracy Morgan's Last OG. In okay. Epic episode. It was a Thanksgiving episode. It was with Tracy, of course, myself, mm -hmm. the great John Amos, you know, from Good Time, and yes. Maria Horford from The Way In Show, uh, Cat Williams, Jay mm -hmm. Smooth. The show mm -hmm. was epic. And, oh my gosh. Um, Robert Townsend directed it. So you can still see that on demand. You can still see that. That is all that black excellence. Yes, yeah, yes. And well, you ought to see the picture, girl. Uh, okay, it's on my Instagram. And yes, ma'am. Last week, I was on an uh, episode of the show called In the Cut that's on mm -hmm. Bounce TV with me, me um, three girls from Open, me, Laura Hayes, and Kalita Smith, mm -hmm. all, all good friends for 25 years. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's what's been on TV. Uh, I have a, a, a movie called um, Blockbusters that will be coming out with Jerry O'Connell. We all like Jerry okay. O'Connell. And that's about a female basketball team. I don't know when that's going to drop. Okay. And I also did another show that I'm not supposed to talk about, but it has to do with fixing my life. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So I'm All right. Talk about that, but we're gonna keep our eyes out for that. We are and, gonna keep our eyes out for that. And then, last but not least, in Break December, in December, you will be experiencing one of the greatest cinematic films you've ever seen in your life, and that is the great sequel, Coming to Coming America. Coming to America. Quest. Not only I can't am wait. I in it, my daughter is a dancer. She's in it. She had okay. to, uh, the first film me and my daughter have done together. She had to audition for the great Fatima Robinson. We all okay. know Fatima. Remember the time? And, yes. You know, and uh, Fatima's amazing. Um, I got that movie because I had auditioned seven times for the Dolomite movie for the part of okay. Queen B, Lady Reed. I auditioned for that part, but they gave mm -hmm. me the part of the aunt, which I'm glad anyway. Because I didn't have to share my scene with no other actors. It was just me and Eddie, just, you know? Yes. And I want to also say that right now, there's a fake flyer going around of Coming okay. to America, the, the quest. It has, first of all, it's not coming to, it's not called Coming to America 2. It's called Coming okay. to America, the quest. Okay. In the fake flyer, they have Tiffany Haddish on the flyer. Tiffany okay. a lot of shit, but she ain't in this. Shane and, in this. It also okay. says that it comes out in August of 2020. It does not. 
It does not come out till December of 2020. And okay. I hate that because I want this shit to come out on Netflix tonight. But tonight. you really do need to see it on the big screen. It's amazing. It's funny. It's got a bunch of other stars in it that mm -hmm. you would never, ever... I can't wait. ...imagine. And um, the music is great. It's got some South African movie stars that you don't know about now, but you Ooh. will. And, okay. Um, the wardrobe is so beautiful and opulent. Like, it's going to really... I, I can't we're wait. Gonna get our black wardrobe thing on after Black Panther, which mm -hmm. the award Ruth Carter won the Oscar for doing the wardrobe for Black Panther. She also okay. did the wardrobe for Dolomite. She also did the wardrobe for Coming okay. to America. But when I tell you that's when amazing, to America drop people gonna be getting married in African attire. I'm here to tell you they're gonna be getting women. They're gonna drop the white wedding dress. They're gonna be oh my gosh, some of the most beautiful shit I ever seen in my life. So I'm gonna hop on one foot clean to the movie theater. <laughs> To see it. Then I'm going to hire somebody to throw some rose petals down till I get to my seat. I'm going to have my popcorn, everything. I cannot. Coming to America, the first one is my favorite movie of all time. Well, so I can't why, wait to know, see people, part two. I know, and people are like, no, I don't know. Is this going to be as good as it absolutely It ain't going to fail. It's as good as, plus everybody It's not going to fail. The first one is in the sequel. They're still alive, except for yeah. uh, Mad Sinclair. Uh, okay, who played Prince Hakeem's mother? Mother, she, she passed yeah. away. But everybody right. else is in that thing, and so am I. A, 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 a. I can't wait to see. I mean, I have my own speculation as to you know what the the script is like and what what's the theme of the movie and all that. But I I, I haven't even looked online. I haven't even googled it because I don't want I don't want any like other insight. The information that you gave me is more than enough. I don't I, want anybody I, else to tell I, me I, about I, it. So many behind the scenes pictures. You know, we filmed it on Tyler's oh, we, 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 I know that was incredible. We, you know, I know it was. To, to go to the lot and see the Holly Berry studio and the Ossie Davis and Ruby D, D studio and the Whoopi Goldberg studio and the Oprah Winfrey studio and the Will Smith studio, because they were doing bad boys on the other side. On the other side, okay. Place. And oh my God. It was just a joy to come to work. It's one of the most prideful things I've ever done. And I wouldn't lie to you because you know me. I keep the 100,000 at all times. <laughs> you, know, so you, you do keep it 1,000, and yes, I am loud. Whoever said you loud, yeah, I'm loud. You're well, going to catch know, all can, this bass. They can, they can turn their volume down on their fucking phone, or Thank you. they can click the fuck out because you won't be missed. We got enough viewers. I'm we got enough people. views. Thank you. They just jelly because they not friends like you and me. Uh, uh, <laughs> Lunell is my friend. Y'all heard her say that. I'm okay. So when I tell y'all. I'm your auntie. She's my auntie. Okay. So when y'all hear me say Lunell's my auntie, you know where you heard it from first. Right yeah. here. Lunell, thank you so much. Again, like I said, I don't want to keep you all night. This has been incredible. I cannot wait to see you in everything, in anything, and I will definitely check you out on YouTube. Thank you, everyone who's tuned in. I definitely want you to go over to Lunell's website, go to heylunell.com, get her live CD, Hey Lunell on YouTube, follow her on YouTube, watch her show. It is hilarious. Yeah. I thank you so, so much. They thank you. just click the link in the, um, if you go to my Instagram, you can just click go the link in the yep. bio. It's simple, simple. Click the link in the bio. And I just want to thank all the people who support you. And thank all the people who support me because, thank you know, you. With, with, without support, is where, where the fuck would we be? We'd be talking to nobody. So Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a light in a dark time. And I will definitely talk to you again. You'll be a guest again. I can't wait till Coming to America comes out. I'll check you out on YouTube, okay? Thank you. The marathon continues. All right. The marathon continues. The marathon continues. Let them know. All right. Sir. All right, honey. Have a good night. Bye. Thanks. Thanks, everybody.